to Bryce Wallen, our player of the week. What was he up to tonight? We're going to head out to Troop where the hometown Tigers came charging out to halftime with a 26-8 lead over the Visington Elk Heart Elks Troop's first possession of the half. Bryce Wallen, there he is. He hands it off to the right and streaks down the sideline. That's James Pierce. He finds an open zone and takes the ball inside the 20. Next play, Wallum decides to keep the ball, and it looks like he's bottled up, but it'll take more than six Wildcats to drag this Tiger down. Eventually, he is flipped out at the three-yard line, but how about the perseverance from our player of the week? Cheerleaders love it, too. A couple plays later, Wallum takes the snap into the end zone for a touchdown. Extra point was good, and that's Wallum as well, don't forget. And it's the Tigers' 33 Wildcats' eight. Next troop drive, the Tigers are facing third and long, but Wallum takes the ball around the left side, dances along the sidelines, and picks up that first down. Crowd super into it. A few <laughs> plays later, Wallum hits the ball to Pierce, and he squirms his way through the middle of the defense, then runs away from everybody for a 50-yard touchdown. Extra point was good, and late in the third quarter, it was Troop up 40-8 to over oh, yeah. Elkhart. And they took care of business. They finished it up in the fourth quarter. They take this one 46-14. They absolutely did take care of business. You know, I was wondering what type of year Troop would have especially missing wide receiver Trey Davis, who's mm -hmm. up at Kansas State. But doesn't seem like they're missing him too much. You know, no. players cycle out every single year, obviously. So it looks like they're doing pretty well, and that was a big win for them. But we're going to keep on moving.